Oh, hello guys, it's durian vlog time. Which, and what is that? It's it's in which I talk about durians. <laughs> um, basically, uh, it's, when I was a kid, uh, durian is this fruit. It's in like a lot. Of, it's probably big in Asia. Uh, it's a fruit um, that is very divisive. It's kind of like Vegemite in that most people either like it or hate it. Like it's very um. What is what's a word? I don't know, but you know what I mean. Like you either like it or hate it. You don't. There's kind of like no middle ground on it. Because um, when I was a kid, I, I was on the side that didn't like it. Like, I remember, um, I can't remember what it was, but I could remember the smell of it. It was like really, I, I thought it smelled bad. And I just didn't like eating it. And when they had it in the fridge, I'd open the fridge and go, oh, I hate that smell. <laughs> and, and then we'd have these wafers that were durian flavors. And I like wafers, but I didn't eat the durian ones. I was not a fan. And all the way growing up, I was the person, everyone in my family liked it, except for me, and I was the one in the family that didn't eat it. And every time people ate it, I, I, I left the room. <laughs> and, like, my sister would, like, uh, eat in front of me, like, kind of teasing me and stuff. Um, and that was my thing, like, and I was, yeah, that was it. That was my identity for that. Um, and so, yeah, I never really liked it. It didn't appeal to me. But then, um, as I grew up, like, I started, like, eating all different things, and I kind of, like, got became a person who can just eat any type of food, anything or whatever, except um, there was like, whenever um, there was food, I was like, um, there's one food that I didn't eat, which is durian, and then I think about two or three years ago, I thought to myself, that's silly, I eat all foods, Why? What, what, what's this one food, I'll give it a shot, so one New Year's, um, um, people eat, my family was eating for New Year's, and so I thought I'll give it a, a crack, I said, I'm going to try it, so I ate it, and I actually really liked it, it was like, it was it's like a comes in a seed and it's like the seed's got like flesh around it and I ate it and I was like this is really yummy like it was cold like I don't know kind of like eating ice cream in a way but soft ice cream uh, I don't know but I liked it and since then it never it doesn't smell to me anymore which is really weird so it's funny because now I'm like a person who was on one side and I've switched over to the other side um so I'm definitely on the side that likes durian and I, I find it's a better side like isn't it better to be on the side of love than hate Hey. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm I really like durian now. So I've since then I've like enjoyed eating durian cake. Like I bought a durian cake during the summer and we ate it at home. Durian ice cream, durian flavored ice cream um, that I've had. It's really yummy. Um, okay, so now basically I like durian. So there's no foods that I don't eat anymore. Nothing. Um, and then my friend Tilly, who's one of my um friends, uh, she said. Uh, she's never tried durian and like she's been hanging out with um, me and Lavina a, a lot and we always go try different foods and like it's fun because like um, Tilly hasn't eaten a lot of different foods especially the Asian cup of foods and stuff so um, uh, she, Tilly mentioned that um, she's never had durian before and she thought the first time she tries something durian she'd like to try the actual fruit first and I thought oh that's a good idea so I tucked it away in my head like if ever there's a chance where I can get some fruit, durian fruit um, let Tilly get some for Tilly to eat, and so my dad just last week, my dad's we ate some durian, and my dad said, Oh, it's durian season at the moment. I was like, Oh, I thought durian season was in the summer, so I was like, I was like, in my head, I was waiting for summer to come around to get more durian, but no, apparently now is May, and so they must import it from Asia or something like that. So there's durians now, now it's like durian season, and he said, Um, yeah, so. I told him that I wanted to buy a durian, and he said all this stuff, like, it was really cool, because he goes, there's a whole art to it, like, you got to pick one that looks good, like, I mean, um, I'll show you, because I've got the durian here that we went to go get, it was really fun, it was fun, like, we just, he, he came home with a durian just then, and then, um, we just started talking, and then I decided, um, he, he took me out to Springvale to the grocers to buy a durian, because he goes, um, people snap up the durians pretty quickly, and so there's, they, they have them now, but they might not have them on Wednesday when I was planning to go. Um, and so I went to get it, and here it is. It's so cool. It, well, it's just a plastic bag. I was quite excited going to get a durian. Like, other, other fruits I've bought, there hasn't been this level of excitement. And here is the baby. My very first durian that I've bought. <laughs> Can you see it? It's so cool. It's spiky. So they actually put some, like, newspaper or whatever paper inside the plastic bag so it doesn't, the spikes doesn't fit. So basically, my dad said when you're looking for a durian, try to find, because so, you want it, because they have it frozen so it's not going to ripen apparently, so you want to get one that's soft. So basically he said, get one that has like 
browny spikes rather than like greeny spikes like because brown means it's ripened um and when they're ripened like see the spikes there they when they're um unripe they're all close together and like but as they ripen they kind of spread apart and then you can kind of see like like a ring around it which i'm still new about so i don't really tell but apparently it widens and sometimes if you see like a little split I don't know if there's a split in this one. There should be, because we found this one with a split. Oh, here it is. Unless that's the bit where they cut. Oh, that's the part that they cut. Let me just take it out. Oh, I have the handle. Okay. Alright. Spiky. So there's a split. See the split there? <laughs> it's like a, a butt cheek. But it, anyway, my dad said if there's a little bit of a split, it means it's ripe, and that's what you want. Um, see, I guess it doesn't smell bad to me anymore. It just smells so bad. But maybe because it's frozen. But the funny thing is, um, I bought a durian cake in the summer, as I said, and I had it in my car. I transported it from Springvale to my house, which is like maybe 10 minutes or so. And my car smelled like durian for a while after that. Luckily, I don't mind anymore. So anyways, I think that's the end of my durian adventure. It was really fun, like, my dad taking me out there and showing me how to buy a durian. It was, like, kind of cool. <laughs> um, so, can't wait to eat it. So I'm going to, we're going to chuck it in the fridge and then I'll take it up to Tilly and Lavina on Friday, hopefully, if that's the plan. And then we're going to eat it and Tilly's going to try it. So hopefully she likes it. Um, like, I, you know, and I would never, um think it's weird if someone didn't like it because I actually was that person who didn't like it so I can understand but all I want to say to people who don't eat durian um try it it's really yummy <laughs> if you have a good one I guess mm. anyways I think that's the end of my durian vlog probably my one and only durian vlog um and that's it the king of fruits oh, apparently my dad said um durians are like when they grow them it's like it takes like 20 years or something before the before you get fruit or something he said it's ages so, so when you plant them, it's like you're not even really planning for yourself, you're planning it for your kids or something like that, which I think is kind of cool in a way, like how long it takes to... Which, what kind of a tree would... Uh, I guess sometimes trees take ages to get fruits, but I don't know. Anyways, I think that's all I want to say for the vlog. Yeah. Oh, I have... <laughs> that was a very fruitful adventure.